we had to approach recording this record differently from the previous two in that we had to write it in a specific period of time. Um, although we had pieces of music and ideas left over from touring and that we had written in between legs, we, we literally, in uh, about a three-month period, had to sit down and, and write a record, whereas before, it was uh, spread out over so in actually years, <laughs> a couple of times. And uh, we did that in order to really follow through with a, a schedule that would get the record out when we wanted to, enable us to use the producers we wanted to and the studio and whatnot. But it ended up working out, that little bit of pressure, you know, really made us work hard. We definitely approached this album with more aggression, and that's quite obvious as soon as you put it on. It's a heavier sounding album with a bit of a dark side to it. So when we, uh, I mean, we were all feeling that even before the writing process began, we were all sitting around going, you know, we got to make this album like, you know, really heavy sounding and uh, uh, definitely, I mean, John, Kevin, and whoever else in the band was always constantly working on their sounds so that that would come across. But uh, yeah, we approached this album with definitely more aggression. Yeah. yeah, there were also like conscious instrumentation and writing mm -hmm. style changes. John moved on to a six string bass, which subsequently resulted in me moving on to a seven string guitar. So there's uh, with, there's a lot of lower range, uh, you know, and that's why some of the songs are really heavy. Uh, we also had some definite ideas uh, as to form, like we wanted to put a trilogy on the record, which we did, and uh, we wanted a couple songs to, to not have involved orchestration and just sort of be the same mood throughout, which we did on a few, you know. So some of them just happened naturally, and other ones were, you can see. Kevin Moore, left the band. Oh. Yeah. We just recently Do you play discovered that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he 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 told us right towards the end of the recording and uh, basically I mean he's been in the band since the beginning and I've known him way before that we've grown, grown up together all of us and uh, basically he wasn't happy you know doing what he was doing he got to a point in his life and decided he didn't want to be there, uh, was writing a completely different style of music. You know, we're sitting here talking about progressive, eclectic music, and he was writing techno, industrial yeah, right. sort of stuff, you know, way in a different direction, sort of unhappy on, on stage and whatnot. And, mm -hmm. you know, and, I mean, we're really upset and everything, but in a sense, you can't blame him, you know, for being, you know, want to live in a world where you're, you're unhappy, you know. Um, but since then, we've continued, not to make light of it, but we've, we have continued full speed ahead and we did the video, uh, the tour is lined up. We actually hired somebody that may or may not be in the band. We're kind of keeping that open, but we, we hired somebody that's really amazing in the meantime. <laughs> We're going to be over here uh, around February or March. I, th I think it would. Help. I think it's going to end up being beginning of February. We're, we're going to go to Japan uh, the middle of January and do about eight to ten shows. So right after that, we'll be over. Here.